Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes, I hope that you are feeling well and doing lovely. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you, my beautiful Libras. Anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you may explore all of these beautiful energies that lie from within inside of you. My beautiful, beautiful Libras, let's get into this energy. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturn Day. Yes, uh-huh. Hmm. Like I said, I hope that you are all feeling lovely because this is that energy. I don't know how you woke up feeling and only you are the chemist the alchemist when it comes to that right right yeah uh-huh let's get into it beautiful ones i have so much that i want to convey i will let you know that um i'm dealing with some technical issues all right we are almost a year old, okay? We will soon be a year old. And I have a lot of recordings that I need to release. <laughs> and it's hard to let them go because I don't have the storage to keep them. I'm actually going to need to plan a day at the Apple store to sit down with my products and gadgets to get this storage thing situated. Beautiful ones, that's a whole nother thing, but I wanted to express that to you because I would be shooting out way more, you know, if I didn't have these technical difficulties that come up with the storage when I'm recording. So I'm gonna figure that out. I'm not super geek squad when it comes to, you know, these type of things. I'm gonna watch some videos today to see how that helps me and also um, start doing a course, okay? So beautiful ones, I'm always here bringing to you what it is that I know from my natural wisdom, but any studies or any informational knowledge, literature, that can enhance your beautiful soul mission, I encourage you to step into that energy, okay? This is that. This is the seed planting that we're doing right now. We're planting the seeds. And if we don't give ourselves a proper fertilization, that it needs to have that rich soil so that we can continue to grow every year an even more abundant crop, right? From within ourselves, our internal crops of who it is, what it is that we've engaged in in order to add into the richness of ourselves. So beautiful ones, I know you follow me on that. I love you all, okay? my beautiful Libras, my every Zodiac, all right? I know this is a Venus-powered channel. However, this is a metaphysical channel, and we are all one, okay? So let's get into it wherever you may have Libra. This is your reading, all right, beautiful ones? We're just going to fill around in the energy, um, and I'm going to try to keep this under an hour, all right? So... Let's get into it. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. Please remember to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. I'm sipping on some tea this morning. 
<clears throat> excuse me, blueberry tea, blueberry and brown sugar tea. Mm -hmm. We're going to start off with the archetypes. And what I'm doing today is with your person, we're going to draw the energy from the person or persons that you're dealing with. And I'm going to draw your energy. So we'll start off with the sorting of the energy for Libra, okay? And if your person is a Libra, they'll still have their side of attributes, okay? So we're going to tap into these energies. We're going to pull four cards for each of you. Spirit, give me cards for Libra's attributes, what you're working with, what spirit wants you to tap into. <laughs> spirit cards for Libra. Mm, wow. So one off the top is there, okay? Spirit, give me cards for Libra's person. Libra's person. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. One more card. Thank you. Leave this person. Woo! Okay. Look, I'm taking the one that flipped in the deck. And somebody is going to be dealing with a king. Mm, let's talk about it. All right, beautiful ones. Libra. Okay, let's talk. We have child orphan that comes out and the light attribute of child orphan is independence based on learning to let based on learning to go it alone okay it's a typo in this card but go at it alone conquering fear of surviving Independence based on letting, oh, excuse me, learning, all right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't long woken up, okay? But independence based on learning to go it alone. It still says it alone, but to go at it alone, basically, beautiful ones, all right? Conquering fear of surviving. So that's a light attribute that you have in this energy and I'm only tapping into these light attributes spirit is saying just the light attributes because you know the opposite beggar is here and I don't know if I showed that Let's, let me show it to you all but you have the beggar that's here and the beggar confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And so the opposite of that is, you know, as above, so below, beautiful ones. The shadow... Sh attribute is dependence on others to exclusion of effort. So this is someone who depends on others to bring forth the effort. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if you're not making the effort and they're not making the effort, Nobody makes effort. So this is someone that is waiting on others to make an effort before they do. 
this is a beggar energy right and then let me go ahead and just tap on the child orphan lower attribute feelings of abandonment that strife maturation seeking an appropriate surrogate families all right that's a child orphan that's a child orphan. And I myself, I was a child orphan. When I read that attribute, that hit for me. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, that hit. You know, but I was a child. <laughs> I was a child, right? We are all adults now. Healer. The light attribute is passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Ability to help transform pain into healing. The shadow attribute is taking advantage of those who need help, failing to care for oneself. Yeah. Mm. That's how I know I'm a healer. Okay, because there's some things that you just, you're not, you just not going to do. All right. Mm. But these are the energies, the frequency, whether you are tapped into this high frequency, somewhere in the middle, or everything in a lower shadow, right? We all deal with the light side and the shadow side of selves. Either way you put it, you can't escape it. You're the scale. You got child nature that's here. The light attributes are friendships with animals, communication with nature, spirits. And you tapped in. Yeah, nature, spirits. You can sit next to a tree and create alchemy, all right? And now you know if you did not know. You can sit there, meditate, touch the tree, manifest. This is the universe, the connection that you're having in communication with nature spirits. Yeah. And the shadow attribute to that is a tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. Yeah. That's a child nature. Let's get into the attributes of your person. They're visionary. I, I mean, whoa, this lineup, I'm not going to play with you, Libra. This lineup for your person, be it masculine or feminine, all right? Uh-huh, is something else. <laughs> all I can say is, woo! How did they get a spread like this? Okay. First of all, they're a king. Okay. A king energy. Whether this is a woman or a man. Remember, these are the attributes of the energies of this person, your person. The light attribute is enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. Shadow attributes are excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. So you got a king here. And this is, you can be the emperor with wisdom, knowledge, and security and solitude, or you can be out of control. This king is a rescuer. Light attributes provide strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. Shadow attributes assumes that the rescued will reciprocate. Keeps the rescued one needy. Uh-huh. Somebody wants to keep you, you know, right where they need you under their thumb you have the mentor okay light attribute 
passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. Shadow attributes, inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master, imparting false instruction. So this is someone that would be a great mentor. However, once you surpass what it is that the mentorship allowed it, this is an energy that doesn't want to see you soar above their mentorship. And we know we've all met these energies before. So your person can be the high frequency of someone passing on wisdom and refining a student so that they continue to, you know, be in this energy of continuous ascension in what it is they're sent here for their purpose, right? But in the lower vibration of it, this is a, what we call a gatekeeper. Uh-huh. Your person is also a visionary. Light attributes are capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. Shadow attributes, selling insights to the highest bidder. Compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the visionary. Wow. So in the high vibration, beautiful ones, I look at your lineup for Libra and I really, it feels like Libra. It does. You know, it's, you can't be offended by the beggar once you understand the light attributes of a beggar. Confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. So this is a gift to be in this energy. This is a gift, but it's not a gift when you use it in a low vibration, you're depending on others to take care of you, right? And this child orphan, Energy independence based on learning to go at it alone. This is how you got there. You've had to do things alone. A lot of them. Majority of them, right? And it's kind of like it made you tough, right? That's how I feel. It created a balance, a sophistication, a grace in you that others, you know, <laughs> some will get it and some won't have it in a lifetime. You're a healer and you're a child with nature, a nature child, okay? Nature's child. And that sounds like a balance right there to me. That sounds like your energy and your person sounds simply amazing when they're operating in the high frequency. This is a soul mate pairing is what I'm seeing. Libra's polar opposites energies. When you study the vibration of, you know, synchronicities, okay, are what we may even um, call a pairing of the charts, all right? So if you were to take your natal chart and your person's natal chart. To align in such an all suspicious way is called Kazemi. And it's that once in a lifetime energy, it's that fated event that happens within you and your person's chart. And this is what I'm picking up on, beautiful ones. I'm picking up on exactly that. Now, I've had these different readings done on me and my person at one time, right? Oh yeah, I run the chart. And I want to see how the stars line up. Mm-hmm. So, beautiful ones, this is what I'm picking up on, all right? So we're going to go ahead and get into this energy. We're going to get into this energy. 
and see what is going on because I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about these attributes that I'm pulling out for you all. It's like someone is ready for a higher level of service, okay? And when I say the service, I mean the service that you extend to one another. Yeah. And with that being said, we're going to tap into some shamanic medicine. Let's get some shamanic medicine out here and see what spirit has to say through the spirit animals. There's a message for you all with the spirit animals. Spirit, give Libra the message. We'll pull three of them. Give Libra the message. I mean, wow, I'm excited for the attributes of, you know, the balance that it just felt. That in that lineup, spirit cards for Libra. A spirit? Okay. Mmm, I like it. Mmm. Okay, wow. Mm, okay, we got three out here. Very, very interesting three. And I'm going to read them. You have the snail. The snail is here. The snail is the frequency of three. Slow down, be in the now. Your mind has been too preoccupied in the past and the future. And you are missing the power of being in present. Snail allows you to be in the now and shows the gift that comes with being in the present. When we focus too much on the past and the future, we can sometimes miss vital information that is already in front of us. Slow down and give yourself some time to regroup and see what is around you. Snail also brings you the gift of patience. Life is not meant to be a race. And Snail is asking you to slow down and enjoy the journey. Some things in life will take time to materialize and we cannot always have what we want instantly. Snail encourages you to pace yourself and to take your time. Appreciate the little steps and milestones. The mark that pathway as you journey towards your big goals in life. There's wisdom in the journeys we make in life and a lot to be gained by slowing down and approaching each moment. The destination has its rewards, but it is only on the journey that we collect our memories and treasures. Listen to the wisdom of this snail now and cultivate patience with yourself and your expectations. Everything does not have to happen at once. It is okay to be patient right now. It's okay to be patient, beautiful ones. Slow down. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. And that's, that's mentally, physically. Yeah. Slow down. And finding ways to do that, meditation, sound bowl, healing. And I'm I'm gonna do a sound bowl healing. Um I'll do one on I'll do one tomorrow. I'll do one as part as the weekly forecast. Okay, beautiful ones. Hermit Crab is here. Hermit crab. Mm, let's talk about a frequency of 42. Hermit crab is in an adventurous little creature. It has, wait, hermit crab is an adventurous little creature. It has appeared to you today to open your life to the possibilities of new adventures. 
Perhaps you have been stuck in a rut lately and feeling bored or restless. Hermit Crab is allowing you to step out of your day-to-day -day routine and wants you to try to have some new adventures. Now is the time to be curious about the world around you. Is there a new hobby that takes your fancy to a new place you'd like to visit? Now is the time to try something new and to break out of the rut you might be in. New adventures bring new energy into your life and a sense of renewal. Hermit Crab asks you to reconnect with your needs and who you are. By drawing into a shell, Hermit Crab is able to reevaluate things. This little crab is asking you to take some time to turn your focus inward and to examine your own needs and wants. Introspection is powerful. It's a powerful tool and it can be used to bring a greater understanding of self. Journey with Hermit Crab to discover more about your inner world and hidden potential. And I always say, understand, beautiful ones. Hermit Crab is about you understanding yourself, going in and really making amends and friends with who that is. Yeah, I love it. Al is here. And I love that Al came out for you. This is the power right here. This is the secret weapon. Uh-huh. Al is the frequency of five, okay? So we know that represents the changes all around you. You may be seeing fives. You may be a life path, number five. Owls can see in the dark. They are equipped with great night vision, allowing them to see things that are hidden in the darkness. When Owl appears in your life, they are here to show you things that are hidden from you. When you work with Owl Medicine, you can see through the illusions of false truths. Allow Owl. Al helps you to see the deeper meaning and the reality of the situation and brings it to a sharp clarity. This clarity helps you to look at the true nature of the things you see them as they are. With Al working with you, you will be able to see beyond deceptive appearances and through hidden agendas. This brings the ability of discernment to you and allows you to make decisions from a place of strength. Al possesses a certain stillness and an observer in life so that the card, so that this card asks you to slow down and observe things around you. Now is the time to watch and gather information and take it all in. This is not limited to the external world either. I'll invite you to look inward. You can look inside yourself and examine your fears and shadow side with Owl Medicine. Owl will show you the things that are no longer working for you, the old thought patterns, the fears, and what you need to release. Work on Owl. Work with Owl to see things as they are and to let go of the past and limitations that hold you back. That's our beautiful ones. Wow. This is slowing down and look inside yourself and not exclude the external as well. Take a look around you. Deal with your shadow side. Release, let go, heal. Because you're the healer. And spirit is telling you that you actually have what it takes to heal yourself. By going in this hermit crab energy and taking your time. See, when you have to sit with yourself, question yourself, counsel yourself. This is communication to every cell in your body. And it's healing if you're speaking into the highest of vibrations of self-compassion is what I'm getting.
Mm -hmm. Compassion for yourself, beautiful ones. That's the shamanic medicine. Uh, that was a super powerful message. Mm. We're going to go ahead and tap in. Going straight to it. Let's get this message out there, beautiful ones. Happy Saturn Day. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Yeah, Spirit led me to take up the cards. I didn't want to continue in the energy because it's a new day. <laughs> It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Yeah, it's a new day. Cards for Libra Spirit. Thank you, sir. Okay. And one off the top. All right, let's talk about this energy, beautiful ones. We got the nine of wands out here with a five of swords, a nine of swords, an eight of cups, the sun, the strength, the ace of wands, and the two of wands. Okay, beautiful ones. To me, I see, I see a warrior, okay? Somebody who has had to go through some battles and in this battle, Others have to put their swords down and walk away. There's the energy of feeling some anxiety and some stress in this energy, okay? From really um, being a wounded hero. And I'm, maybe you've been talking to some veterans. But this energy is telling me that it took a lot of courage to get through the conflict and the adversities that we're hitting this energy, okay? Now, we got Sagittarius with the Nine of Wands and with this Five of Wands, this is Aquarius energy. Your person, you could have these placements, but let's talk about it. This Nine of Swords is here. Somebody is stressed and dealing with some anxiety. Mm -hmm. They're unhappy right now. They're feeling a sense of hopelessness. So it caused someone to walk away with this Eight of Cups here. Mm -hmm. Somebody walked away from what it is that wasn't serving them. Your overall energy is the lovers, beautiful ones, okay? Yeah, somebody was disappointed, so they walked away from this energy. And the sun is here next to the strength. This is heavy on the Leo, okay? But this sun energy, this is fire, uh-huh. This is about pleasures and positivity, happiness and vitality, fun, joy, warmth, a celebration, okay? Success and a birth, a rebirth as well. And this rebirth took place when the strength was tapped into having some compassion for self, courage. Uh-huh. This is subtle power, influence, inner strength and being focused and compassion ruled by the heart is power of strength and control the balance of both of those energies the ace of wands is here and this is a new project somebody you know in this energy of really being gifted with a new opportunity for growth all right but they're passionate about this growth wow i split the deck on the ace of pentacles this growth is going to extensively okay change the demographic 
of your life is what I'm hearing. Uh-huh. And you're moving towards this energy with the two of wands here. This is about planning. Wow, that's crazy. This is about planning, you know, and making some progress and making some decisions and discovery and letting go and making actual travel plans. And then the lover's card fell off. And then I see the three of cups behind it, a celebration, cancer energy, right? Okay, so uh, Gemini with the lovers. And then we have Aries with this two of wands here. More fire with the ace of wands. Fire with the strength and fire with the sun. Okay, and fire with the Sagittarius with the nine of wands, the wounded hero. So it's a whole lot of heat right here. Okay, and we have the air here with these five of swords. This is you know, someone wanting to come out of any type of conflict and being in your head, being in your head, slow down, slow down. And this eight of cups energy, this is tapping into that energy of the last card that had came out. Mm. Wow going in so that you can see what it is, you know. Taking inventory of oneself is what I'm getting. I split the deck. Ace of love. I mean, ace of cups, beautiful ones. I split the deck. I'm splitting the deck to straight major arcanas, okay? Yeah, because that's what time it is for you, beautiful ones. Ace of Cups is here. This is somebody, when they walked away, they were walking. This is the self-love you have for yourself. So therefore, this is why we're drawing this type of energy now. Because the self-love you have for yourself, you're drawing it into self too. Yeah, I like it. Let's talk about it, beautiful ones. Give me the Nine of Wands, Spirit, for Libra. The Nine of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Speed. Okay. Yeah, you close out a chapter on this wounded hero issue. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tired of being a wounded hero. This is what I heard. It's time to celebrate life and be in the energy. Uh-huh. Taking inventory, right? At the same time. Give us the world with the nine of wands. The world with the nine of wands, spirit. What's the message? Okay. Mm, yeah, boundaries. There you go, Libra. Queen of Swords. That's the message. This is about unbiased judgment, independent. Uh-huh. Not being a beggar, right? Clear boundaries, direct communication, clear-minded, and to be perceptive. And something just hit me when I said not being a beggar. Although it's not in the card, the frequency of a, is of a beggar is trying to get people to understand who you are. Or even to understand that you deserve to be loved. Okay? Libra is not doing that. That's dead. Okay? Overall energy is this is investing in yourself investments in yourself this is probably why i started off this you know opening of this read talking about upgrading what it is that is going to help you investing in yourself and you've been planting seeds sowing seeds yeah and there will be some missed opportunities but nevertheless these seeds have been planted Let's talk about it. Oh, wow. Give me the five of swords, spirit. Five of swords for Libra. Okay. Four of swords. This is going in retreating. Yeah, this is you going in retreating. Swords have to be put down when it came to you. Overall energy. Somebody has heavily... This happiness, this joy, this four of wands energy, a marriage possibly, 
in a homecoming when it comes to reuniting or uniting with a person, your person, this place, this nostalgic energy, right? I split the deck. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I said this nostalgic energy and I went straight to the six of cups, the nostalgic energy, beautiful ones. Yes, 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 yes. This is that. Uh-huh. It is. Let's talk about it. Nine of swords, spirit. Nine of swords for my Libras. It's speed. Okay. Wow, I have a card that flipped. It's the king of wands. Mm. All right. This I feel like like the energy, it's like it just snuck in there. Okay. But there's a king of wands. I want my hand is to pull this card. You see that, right? But spirit, let's talk about how spirit is coming through. All right. You got the king of wands that is stressed out. Okay. Stressed out. There is someone who has a lot of passion for you. Could be a possible Sagittarius energy or a Scorpio, second deacon. Okay. Third deacon, Scorpio. And the King of Swords. I knew it was going to be a showdown. I knew it was going to be a showdown, okay? So, look, you got two energies that are in their head over you. Beautiful ones, remember to take what is yours and leave what is not. It could possibly be an Aquarius energy or a Sagittarius. They can have these placements in their chart. However, one is the truth. One is a head over heart type of energy, okay? And the other is an energy that is a visionary, all right? This could be the attributes of one, but let's talk about it. My overall energy is going to determine that. Oh... It's a queen of wands. <laughs> it's a queen of wands with some judgment. So beautiful ones. Okay, so more fire. So this is the mate to the queen of, wow, the king of wands. Let me slow down, y'all. Let me slow down. This is who it is. All this passion is going to make this ace of pentacles when I split the deck with, okay? This energy is in the energy of being head of a heart now is what I'm getting. There's a message that someone wants to bring towards you. More fire energy, Sagittarius energy with these wands. Spirit, why is the king of swords and the king of wands here? Thank you. Wow, this is your person from the past or a past life. Somebody's returning in this energy is what this feels like. Six of Cups, they're familiar. This person could bring some happy memories, reminiscing, reminiscent memories of childhood even. And it's an innocence. It's that child innocent that you have that nature, Libra. It's that energy joy and nostalgia so i'm being told wow with the four of wands yeah this is celebration and joy and marriage and home community a homecoming this is your person possible aries energy and the hierophant is here the most high source is behind this energy slow down that's what i just heard Slow down. Slow down. There is someone behind the scenes is what I just heard. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I split the deck. It's a tower going on. People had to be thrown out of some things. Things are coming down so that they can be built up is this energy that I'm getting. Give me... Give me the Eight of Cups, Spirit. Walking away, you know, letting go. Eight of Cups for Libra. Thank you. And working. Someone poured themselves into their work. Possible Virgo placement. But this is about diligence and passion and having some high standards when it comes to your apprenticeship. Mastering your skill and a skill development receptive task, okay? This is something that you do on a daily uh-huh. And you like it. You love it. 
because this is part of manifestation and practicality when it comes to manifesting. This is also your business and it has to do with the ego that you carry behind how you run your business. Yeah, I like it. Free. You have a sense of freedom in this energy. You want to be free in this energy. And some of you are going to have a, bu a business that you are a healer, okay? You're in this energy of healing, Aquarius energy. But the fool is more air, okay? It's more air energy, beautiful one. So this is your element. So, yeah, many of you are definitely renewing your spirituality and you're really tapping into your good fortune because it's a good omen that comes when it's based upon what it is you have poured into the seeds you've planted the seeds you are planting give us the sun spirit for libra Wow. Okay. So we have the eight of swords that jumped out. Now let's explore this. The sun. Someone is in their head about happiness, joy. Let's talk about it. Wow. Yeah, they have some regret. They have some regret. So possible Leo placement. They found their joy and it could be this queen of swords energy, right? That's up here. And there's some regret, and they feel disappointed and some failure in this energy. Tell us more. Why is this eight of swords here, spirit? Why is this eight of swords here? Wow. All three of these came out in reverse. All right. Let's talk about it. The fool is in reverse. Somebody's holding back, and they're indecisive. They're hesitant. And they could be operating or have been operating or was operating, making some bad choices and being reckless, all right? That's the fool in reverse. Air. The stars in reverse. This is a lack of faith. Someone doesn't have faith and they're in this energy of despair. They feel discouraged and they have insecurities, all right? They're disconnected, all right? That's the star in the reverse, a disconnect. Aquarius energies. Justice is in reverse. Somebody feel like, you know, they got a lot of guilt and they feel like they're being punishment. This is unfairness. They have a lack of accountability as well with this here. Justice being in reverse. Wow, that's deep. Okay. Give us why. And this is the truth over our energy. This energy has some clarity now. It's like. Someone is doing the work. Someone is going in and they're actually recognizing where it is that they lack. All right. Uh, yeah. Having too many decisions or feeling like it's just a lot going on in their head. Possible Scorpio placement. I split the deck and they're going through a tower, beautiful ones. Yeah, they're going through a tower. All right. Strength is here. Give us the strength. The moon is here. Possible Pisces energy. Okay. So, yeah, this energy has been going through a lot of fear and anxiety again. All right. A lot of premonitions as well. They've been dreaming about you. You've been in their dreams. Overall energy is the lovers. You've been in their dreams. And here it is. The magician is popping up. Okay. They're manifesting you. Excuse me, not the lovers, the two of cups, the two of cups, beautiful ones. They're manifesting this. They're manifesting you in their dreams, okay? They are. You could be feeling this communication, having dreams yourself. I split the, yeah, you could be, uh-huh. I split the deck to the six of pentacles. This is a balance. This is a scale. This is reciprocity. This is equal give and take. You could be having these same dreams. You could have a second deacon Taurus as well. Beautiful ones. Yeah, this is about giving and receiving, okay? Sharing the wealth and being generous. Aries energy with an emperor, okay? With an emperor. 
the spirit is telling me to have some compassion for a king because that was the attribute that was the attribute have some compassion for a king this is what i'm getting flip and switch these energies beautiful ones flip and switch them all right ace of wands ace of wands spirit ace of wands yeah this energy is very passionate they want to rush in towards you with this energy of that passion okay kind of impulsive but this let's talk about it uh, yeah, and make an offer, a solid offer, all right, with this Page of Pentacles being at the bottom of the deck. Give me the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, Spirit. Esprit. Ace of Cups, yeah. Mm -hmm. They love you. So this isn't the Knight of Wands to hurry up and rush in and rush out. This is that love. This is love, compassion, creativity, new feeling, spiritual spirituality intuition it could be a new baby for some of you and a proposal for marriage that's this energy beautiful ones mm, it's the pioneering leading alpha dominance of ambitious originality and this is water possible water sign a water placement and the energy for you right pisces cancer uh scorpio they're manifesting this I can't make it up, beautiful ones. Magician is the overall energy. They're manifesting this energy with you. Yeah, it's been in the energy for days now. They are manifesting you. And in this energy, if that's what you choose to do, you manifest them right back. You're creating a balance with the universe. If you are aligned and this is your divine person returning from the past, okay? I can't tell you what to do, but I split the deck to the higher fin, and I know, okay, this is higher knowledge. I'm giving you this source communication, and these words are here for me to speak to you so that you know how and what to do with the spells that you speak for yourself, beautiful ones. Let's get this two of wands and get ready to close out, okay? We're pushing up on an hour, beautiful ones. I love you. Give me the two of wands, Libra. Thank you. Huh? It's victory. Uh-huh. It is victory. Ooh. Let's tell the story. All right. Somebody could see you. Uh, this is all they see is winning with you, but you could be in the public eye, but they want to move forward with this two of wands here, okay? And making plans to, they could see you from afar as well is what I'm getting, all right? And this is a public recognition. This is progress. They're making some progress when it comes to these plans as well. This is Second Deacon Leo, all right? This is about movement and balance and really solutions, okay? And healing. This person is healing. They're doing the work. Victory is also healing, beautiful ones. They're healing a broken heart, okay? Overall energy. They're healing a broken heart. Yeah, they are. Wow, from a nine of pentacles energy, someone who was single and a just boss lady in the making, uh-huh, and heartbreaking, right, is what I'm getting. That's what I'm seeing, beautiful ones. I split the deck. They want this ten of cups, all right? They want some domestic harmony. They want some love. They want to be in alignment, and they want it to be fulfilled, fulfilled in their lives, beautiful ones. This is what this is. This is what this is, beautiful ones. Give me the six of wands. Give me the six of wands. Yes, okay. Oh, whoa. Any lies they told you, they want to take them back. They want to come clean. They're rethinking their approach. Any deception, self-deceit, keeping secrets, they want that to end. The seven of swords is in the reverse. Beautiful ones, this is your read. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Don't forget to hit the like button. Overall energy is the Two of Cups. Quit playing with us around here. It's the Two of Cups. This is a divine love. This is unified love. This is partnership. This is mutual attraction, a proposal, marriage, connection. It's the lineup of the attributes that I saw that was Kazemi in the stars, in the cosmos, in those cards. I split the deck. This is collaboration, three of pentacles. My beautiful ones, let's close out. Hit the like button, share. Beautiful ones, peace and love.